Hi guys, welcome to today's episode. I have exciting news as I have received a new colony. They are super interesting and I can't wait to show them to you. Make sure you stay until the end of the video as you guys could be winning an end keeping starter kit. I also wanted to let you know that I have opened an Instagram account. On there, you will find sneak peeks at the next videos as well as some exclusive content I won't be showing anywhere else. The link to my account is in the description of this video. I was innocently browsing an advert website when I stumbled across an ad for an interesting ant colony. Next thing I knew, they were on my doorstep. How strange! They are a polygynous species, meaning they can have multiple queens in each colony. This colony has four queens. Can you spot them? Me neither. It's really difficult, as the queens look very similar to the workers and are the same size too. The only way you can differentiate them is with a thorax that's slightly larger. I counted about 100 workers, but I can't really see any brood, which is worrying me a little bit. But I'm really happy to welcome them in my ant room. Those ants have a special ability. They can sting. See, most ants have evolved out of stingers and instead rely on powerful mandibles or on their ability to spray formic acids to defend themselves. However, some species of ants have skipped this evolutionary step and have kept a stinger, allowing them to inject a deadly dose of toxins to their prey. Don't worry though, this particular species isn't going to kill me. In fact, their sting isn't that painful to humans, but it's plenty enough for them to hunt small insects. I mentioned earlier that this species is polygynous. It so happens that I have a queen from the same species in my ant room. So, I decided I would try to introduce her to this colony. I linked a test tube to the foraging area. And it wasn't long until a worker came to check what was going on. At first, the two parties weren't too excited about this meeting. But, shortly, the animosity turned into curiosity. After a good 10 minutes of licking each other, touching antennas, and no more signs of aggressivity, I decided I would leave them to their business and check on them in the morning. And just like that, the test tube is empty, the brood is gone and so is the queen. I haven't found a dead queen in the foraging area or anywhere else. This must mean that she is in there somewhere, but I can't spot her despite my efforts. Can you spot her? What do you guys think of this colony? Do you like it? Now, let's play a game, shall we? It's easy, and if you win, I'll be sending you an endkeeping starter pack. This pack contains the following. A laziest Niger Queen and her brood, two spare test tubes, a pipette, and a small bottle of sweet nectar. By now, you'll probably have noticed I purposely haven't mentioned what this species is, but I gave a few hints that should allow you to guess correctly. To participate in this game, it's easy. Simply like this video and leave your guess in the comments. I will then randomly pick one of the correct answers and in next week's video, I'll reveal the name of the winner. So what are you waiting for? You too could become an endkeeper soon and it's completely free. Thank you for watching this video. Are you enjoying my content? I release a new video every Sunday, so don't hesitate and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being an enthusiast.